Today, uh, today I'll be making my chicken soup made from scratch with Amish Farm chicken. That's the one that I use and it is really, really, really good. So you can see how much the chicken it is nowadays, guys. It is $12.38. It is very, very expensive. Oh my goodness. But this chicken is one of my favorites and it's actually really, really, really good chicken soup. For my chicken soup made from scratch, the first thing that I gotta do is get a pot, and then as soon as the water starts boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and put the onion, guys. For my chicken soup, I will be using one head of a garlic, as you can see, it right here on the side. I will be using a little piece of ginger, just like this size, so you are aware. For my chicken soup also, I will be using uh, six potatoes. I already peeled them, 100% peel. I will be using a little bit of carrots. I will be using one big onion, and it is white. It is that big that I'm, I cut it in half, so I will be using only half. I will be using one bunch of cilantro. I will be using also some scall uh, scallions and six tomatoes, folks, just so you are aware. Uh, Sancochados peppers. Sancochado peppers, basically, what it is, is, is uh, peppers on the grill, along with the onion. I'll be putting a little bit of lime and salt, and you let it marinate for about 30 minutes. That's what Sancochado's peppers stand for. Just FYI, first thing I do, get my peppers, get them on the grill, get my white onion. Remember, I used one big white onion, so I'm using the other half on this one. My potatoes, I basically just like made them in wedge. And then the carrot soup, once that is done, you can definitely put them in your chicken soup. It took about 15 to 20 minutes after the chicken is definitely, definitely, definitely boiling. As you can see right now, see? Salt is going to be up to your taste. For myself, I use a Himalayan pink salt. It is up to you how much you want in your chicken soup. Once your peppers are ready, guys, the only thing that I have to do is pretty much slice my peppers like I'm doing now. This is to make our, ch uh, 
pepper sancochado, just like I was letting you know. We got a we got a lime over here on the side. Salt is gonna be up to your taste, folks. Just to give a heads up. Uh, I know some people like salt, some people don't like too much salt. But you wanna make sure that it's enough salt for your peppers, okay? Just FYI. Once the peppers are done and all marinated, you want to mix them up really good. What I usually do, I get the lid, put it together, hook it up, and mix it up really good, guys. Our soup is boiling now, so at this point you can definitely put the cilantro in there just to give it a heads up. With my chicken soup today, I will be making a little bit of rice, a Spanish rice, and the recipe goes something like this. The first thing that you gotta do is get a pan, get a little bit of olive oil, as I did. Got two cups of a rice, jasmine rice. You want to make sure that it's really nice and washed, guys, and also, once it's dried, you can definitely put the rice in your pan to be able to brown a little bit. You can see how the color is gonna to start to change a little bit. It's looking a little bit yellowish. That means that your rice is pretty much ready. So the tomatoes that I had at the beginning of the video is what we're gonna be using for this. We're gonna be using a little bit of onion, five tomatoes, we are going to be using also a little bit of garlic, and here we are. Once you blend your tomatoes and your onion and garlic, you're going to put it inside your pan. Now we're going to let it simmer for about maybe 20 to 25 minutes. You should be able to see that the rice is going to start getting spongy. It's going to get fluffy. Salt is going to be to your taste, just FYI. My Spanish rice, I will be using one baggie of corn. This is just to make sure that it gives a little more of body to your rice. And peas. If I don't make any chicken soup, I usually put also carrots and potatoes. But in this instance, you can pretty much see that I made my chicken soup already with uh, carrots and potatoes. So I am not going to put any more potatoes and carrots in my Spanish rice. Okay, folks, it has been about 10 minutes, more or less. You can see the rice is already getting puffy, fluffy. And this rice smells really good, people. Can't wait to get my chicken homemade soup with my Spanish rice here. It smells yummy. Han pasado como 10, 15 minutitos, más o menos. Mira cómo se está poniendo la arroz, ya está bien fluffy. Huele muy rico. Ya me, ya me canso de esperar por mi pollito sano. Mi, qué bonita, qué bonita, qué bonita arroz, miren, fíjense. Muy rico que va a quedar toda esta cosa, pues. been about 20 minutes 20 minutes and my rice is pretty much ready you can see how fluffy that was if you guys want to watch the whole video how I make my Spanish rice I mean there is a link below but it's pretty much the same procedure except that 
the the other rice that I make, I usually put potatoes and carrots, just like I said. In this instance, I just put carrot, I mean, uh, corn and peas. See how fluffy? That is so good. Look at that. We are back. You can see my chicken soup is ready, ready to go. I ended up taking out the big pieces of onion and also garlic, so it's nice and clean now. But it smells really good. It tastes really good too. Just to give a heads up, we are going to be making our plate now. First thing that I want to do, my rice is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and get one spoon of rice, put it into my So our soup is ready. It is so delicious. It smells really good. So I got my scallions here on the side. Obviously, I'm going to put a little bit of them. Two, as you guys know, I got that ch uh, ch uh, pepper sancochado. I'm going to get a little bit of onion here. These are uh, grilled onions. And a little bit of um, peppers. The peppers like this are not going to be so spicy because it has lemon and it has a little bit of salt. But this is just for flavor. It has a little bit of lime. It tastes really good and it smells delicious. It's delicious, people. Very delicious.